2024 has undeniably marked a momentous leap forward in space exploration. Alongside the test launches of Starship and the crewed flight test of Starliner, SpaceX's powerful Falcon Heavy is poised for a groundbreaking mission to investigate the potential for life within our solar system. In this mission, Falcon Heavy will carry its most expensive and crucial payload to date. Join us today as we dive into this exciting mission. On June 4th, NASA made a notable announcement on X. Here's the big reveal of Europa Clipper. The spacecraft is out of the box, and processing has started ahead of the journey to Jupiter's moon Europa. So, beyond the moon and Mars, NASA has embarked on a very ambitious program aimed at exploring Europa. You know that the Europa Clipper mission carries a hefty price tag of $5 billion? Yes, that's right a whopping sum that might raise some eyebrows. But before you dismiss it as an extravagant expense, let's find the compelling reasons behind this ambitious endeavor. The story of Europa Clipper began with the groundbreaking discoveries made by the Galileo spacecraft as it orbited Jupiter from 1995 to 2003. Galileo hinted at the existence of an ocean beneath the icy crust of Europa, Jupiter's intriguing moon. Intrigued by this possibility, NASA initiated the Europa Clipper mission as part of its Solar System Exploration Program. Driven by the profound question, could this subsurface ocean harbor the potential for life. The mission's objectives are as ambitious as they are scientifically significant. Europa Clipper will capture high-resolution images of Europa's surface, meticulously analyze its composition, search for signs of recent or ongoing geological activity, measure the thickness of the moon's icy shell, hunt for subsurface lakes, and determine the depth and salinity of Europa's hidden ocean. To achieve these goals, the spacecraft will embark on a remarkable journey, orbiting Jupiter and executing nearly 50 close flybys of Europa at altitudes ranging from 16 to 1,678 miles over a 3.5-year mission. Regarding its journey, it was announced in 2021 that the mission would take a 5.5-year trajectory to the Jovian system, using gravity assist maneuvers involving Mars in February 2025 and Earth in December 2026. The launch is targeted for a 21-day window between October 10th and 30th, aiming for an arrival date in April 2030. Backup launch dates have been identified for 2025 and 2026. This adds some extra pressure on Falcon Heavy. However, the launch vehicle has an impressive track record. Interestingly, Falcon Heavy was not the initial choice as the launch vehicle for this mission. The selection of a launch vehicle for the ambitious Europa Clipper mission was no easy feat. It was a journey marked by intricate political maneuvering and careful consideration of various options. Initially, driven by congressional urging, NASA had planned to launch the spacecraft aboard its own space launch system, SLS, rocket. While the SLS presented a viable option, many within the scientific community strongly advocated for launching Europa Clipper on SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket. Their preference was driven by several compelling factors, with cost-effectiveness at the forefront. The SLS's exorbitant launch costs raised significant concerns. As the acting director of the White House Budget Office, at an estimated cost of over $2 billion per launch for the SLS, once development is complete, the use of a commercial launch vehicle would provide over $1.5 billion in cost savings. Yes, over $2 billion for a single SLS launch. Europa Clipper was already a mission burdened by substantial expenses. Opting for the SLS would only further strain NASA's budget, potentially hindering future endeavors. Falcon Heavy, on the other hand, offered a more cost-efficient alternative, allowing NASA to allocate resources more effectively and pursue a wider range of scientific objectives. Scientists were understandably concerned that further delays with the SLS would push back the Europa Clipper mission, potentially disrupting carefully planned research schedules and jeopardizing the scientific objectives. They emphasized the importance of adhering to the 2024 launch window to align with the optimal positioning of Jupiter and Europa, ensuring the mission's success. Shifting to the Falcon Heavy would require reallocating funds and potentially seeking congressional approval, a process that could prove challenging given the political landscape. Furthermore, the SLS program had significant economic implications, with components of the rocket manufactured in various congressional districts across the country. For many lawmakers, the SLS represents presented not just a scientific endeavor, but also an opportunity to support local businesses and jobs. These political and economic considerations weighed heavily in the decision-making process, creating a complex dilemma for NASA. Balancing scientific priorities with political realities and economic interests 
presented a formidable challenge. Despite the political pressure to launch Europa Clipper on the SLS rocket, lawmakers were ultimately compelled to concede. Their decision was driven by a combination of factors that underscored the Falcon Heavy's suitability and the SLS's limitations. By the end of 2018, NASA's team determined that the Falcon Heavy rocket was capable of carrying out the Europa Clipper mission independently, without the necessity for a Venus gravity assist. This discovery removed the complexities of an intricate flyby trajectory and the need for extensive heat protection, enhancing Falcon Heavy's suitability for the mission. The Delta IV Heavy rocket, provided by United Launch Alliance, was also evaluated but not selected, as its mission profile would have involved a Venus flyby by, demanding additional thermal protection for the spacecraft. Secondly, as NASA finalized plans for the Artemis Moon program, it became evident that the prime contractor for the SLS core stage, Boeing, was simply unable to manufacture an additional rocket for the Clipper mission within the required time frame. All available SLS core stages, NASA officials realized, were crucial for supporting the human lunar landing endeavor in the mid-2020s. Amidst the political debate surrounding the launch vehicle choice for Europa Clipper, one technical issue emerged as a game-changer, the shaking problem with the SLS rocket. This unexpected challenge ultimately sealed the fate of the SLS and paved the way for the Falcon Heavy's selection. The SLS, a massive rocket, relied on two solid rocket boosters during launch, generating significant vibrations. SLS program officials had assured NASA leadership that the twisting load, a measure of the rocket's twist and shake, would be within acceptable limits. However, subsequent tests conducted by NASA revealed a startling reality. The actual twisting load was nearly double the SLS program's estimates. To launch Europa Clipper in the high vibration environment of the SLS, it would have needed to be redesigned, costing NASA at least an additional $1 billion. This was simply too expensive. This revelation posed a serious risk to the Europa Clipper mission. The spacecraft, carrying delicate scientific instruments and precious cargo, could not be subjected to such excessive vibrations during launch. The potential for damage or malfunction was simply too high. For NASA, the stakes were too high to gamble with the fate of the Europa Clipper mission. The mission's scientific objectives were far too valuable to risk on a launch vehicle that presented such significant uncertainty. As a result, the SLS was ultimately ruled out as the launch vehicle for Europa Clipper. The Falcon Heavy, with its proven track record and demonstrated ability to provide a stable launch environment, emerged as the clear choice. This launch contract with SpaceX cost just $178 million, and since Europa Clipper didn't need to be redesigned, NASA saved about $3 billion with this decision. Now that's what we call smart spending. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.